Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, according to today's daf, should or may woman make a bracha when they shake lulav, listen to shofar blowing, or sit in the sukkah. So Gemara discusses on Yudal and Amun Aleph, in brachot, yam she the days that we say halal, and there's variations on that mitzvah of halal, you have the days which is an absolute obligation, like sukkah, Hanukkah, and then there's the days where it's more of a minhag. Rosh Chodesh is a minhag. The way you know if it's a minhag, a custom that developed later on absolute din, is that we say full hollow. Full hollow, those are the days it's absolute din, obligation to say hollow. And then the other days that we developed a minhag like Rosh Chodesh and the second day of Pesach and on. So the question is on those days when it's not absolute din, chiyuv, it was a minhag that developed, do we say hollow with a bracha or not? Ashkenazim do, and Sephardim do not. And Tosfot, the long Tosfot, on the page says, what about bracha for woman? So it says a certain similarity that a woman goes in and performs the mitzvah of lulav, sukkah, shofar, these are all mitzvahs she doesn't have to do, but she chooses to do it. So there's a mitzvah there, but she didn't have to do it. And halal also is a mitzvah, but it's not a chiv. At least originally it was not these half halal days. And the Tosas brings down opinions that say that once you are performing the mitzvah, you can make the bracha. And it's very interesting. Ashkenazim do make a bracha on halal, half halal. And Rosh Chodesh Farim do not. And interestingly enough, Ashkenazim, most Ashkenazim women make a bracha when they blow shofar. Uh, sit in the sukkah and shake lulav. And the, uh, while the Rambam says not, the basic machlokah seems to be when you have a birchat ha-mitzvah, does it go on the chiyuv ha-mitzvah, the obligation that one has, or, on the, or is it on the performance of a mitzvah? A woman shakes lulav, she's getting a mitzvah of lulav. When she goes and sits in the sukkah, she's getting a mitzvah. She didn't have an obligation. So according to the Rambam, the bracha is over the chiyuv. A woman cannot make a bracha. The Shulchan Aruch paskins this way in several places. And by tzitzis and other places, he passes that a woman can perform the mitzvah, these mitzvot that we mentioned, but she should not make the bracha because she is not vitzivanu. While the Ashkenazim say yes, but she gets a mitzvah and the bracha goes over the mitzvah. Now we each have a minhag. The Ashkenazim minhag usually is to make a bracha, Sephardic. Minhag is not. One technical point, how do the woman say the words? It's a lie. Vitzivanu just isn't true. So conceptually, you want to say it goes with the mitzvah, very nice. But see, doesn't have vitzivoy. So the fact is that we say vitzivanu, not vitzivani. A woman said, bless you, Hashem, that commanded us, Klai Yisrael, in the midst of Lulam and Shofar and Sukkah, which is a legitimate line. So we each have our minhag, elu ve'elu, develekim chayim, both minhagim, both practices are holy practices. Shalom.